Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, Turing machine as a subtractor. In our last class, we uh, discussed about Turing machine, how Turing machine works as an addition. So please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, let's take the example. Here we are doing proper subtraction. What's that proper subtraction? Uh, subtraction means let's try to understand f of m comma n. F is a function which is having two inputs m comma n. Uh, it should be the output of this function should be m minus n if m greater than n. If m is greater than n, then we have to display it as m minus n. Otherwise, if m less than or equal to n, we have to display it as 0. This is what we have to do. This function has to be generated using a Turing machine. We do this in unary numbers. In our last class, we did the addition on also in unary numbers. You know what unary numbers means. m is equal to 5, n is equal to 2. 5 means 5 ones will be there. 2 means 2 ones will be there. In order to separate these two numbers, 0 has been provided in between the two numbers. 5 ones, 2 ones. In between, 0 is provided. So here, uh, we are having uh, three conditions. We have to understand how to convert these in, uh, by taking an example. Then uh, drawing the transition diagram is very easy. See, we uh, for understanding purpose, we have placed dots on, on above that. Uh, means we have converted them into blanks that is what uh, the, in order to understand that we have uh, we have written those dots don't get confused with those dots so we will start from here this is the starting of our input so unary number 5 minus 2 what's the output you have to come 3 is the output means whenever you are having 3 means on the tape after completion of this function what's remain on this tape 3 1 should be there then we can say it as a, the output is a 3 5 minus 2 is a 3 so first condition is m greater than n whenever we take the example when where m is greater than n so first we will start from here we will convert this into blank we will convert this into blank after that move right side how long we have to move right side until you find blank means we are moving till the end of the input for understanding purpose we are saying it as this is left left number this is a right side number so till the right side until you found blank so whenever you find blank move left so we will stop here we have to convert this if it is one convert this into blank so what we have done here this one is converted into blank last one is converted into blank on the left hand side number we have seen one one we converted into blank on the right hand side we have converted one one into blank again move to the left till the end of the left how do you know that there is a, this is the end of the left whenever you see blank this one is converted into blank so blank will be present here so then move right side now one one uh, we have seen one whenever you see one convert this into blank move right side so here it is blank move left convert this into blank means this two ones has been converted into blank the first two ones has been converted into blank now we are here from here we have to move right side left side left side till the end now we have seen the third one so on the left side number now we have seen the third number third one means there are third one has been found equivalent third one has to be found on the right hand side number but there is no third one on the right hand side number we are having only two numbers means whenever we have we converted this one into blank the third one is converted into blank we move right side right side right side here it is found blank whenever you found blank we are moving left here if you found one there is a third one in our number in the right hand side number if you see zero means there is no third one on the right hand side number that is what the logic is so remember this point whenever we are moving right side whenever you found blank we are moving left on the left if you find one means equivalent one has been found here if you found zero means this number is big we already found one extra one on this but the matching one has not been found on the right hand side means this number is big this is the first condition m greater than n 
so now how you, how to write the <coughs> transition diagram we will understand the uh, after uh, understanding the remaining two conditions also now take the condition m is equal to n we start from here convert this into blank move right side whenever you see blank move left convert this into blank move left side here uh, blank has been found so move right side convert this into blank move the, uh, right side convert the here blank is there move left side convert this into blank move back whenever you see blank move right side if you found zero what happened here two ones has been found we converted that into blank here two ones has been found we converted them into blank but on the right now left left hand side is over that's why we had seen zero here whenever we see zero here left side is over we don't know whether right side is having more number of ones or equal so that's why both the conditions both the conditions stop here stop here when left side is over left side uh, we will stop here whenever on the left hand side if you find zero stop uh, means this is less than see zero is converted into zero is converted into blank why we have converted this zero into blank now whenever you find zero why we have converted this into blank because uh, equal number of ones are there 2 minus 2 what's the output it should, it should be 0 in unary numbers 0 means uh, all blanks this is converted into blank 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 what's remain on this uh, tape 0 0 in unary number is given as uh, all blanks that's why 0 has to be converted into blank this is equal to condition now less than condition take the less than condition we start here convert this into blank move move to the end convert this into bl blank move to here convert this into blank move to here convert this into blank move to here whenever you see blank we found zero we move right side it is zero whenever you find it as zero it may be it may be less than it may be equal to to this number equal to condition we already seen up so now it is less than whenever it is less than first whenever you found zero convert this into blank convert next to ones also until you repeat this if it is zero blank if it is one blank if it is one blank if it is one blank whenever you find blank stop why we are converting all those numbers into blank because uh, less number minus uh, this this is the operation this is the function which we have written here m minus n if m less than or equal to n we have to place zero in order to place zero we are converting all of them into blanks all of them into blanks now write the logic for how to construct the turing machine for that this is the different colors have been given this color is m less than or equal to n condition this color is given for m greater than n condition so that's why in order to distinguish different colors has been provided this base logic is given in the green color so what's this q naught we start from q naught whenever you see one the first one you convert this into blank and move right side you convert this into blank and move right side so from now onwards if you find zero if you find one if you find one if you find zero move till you find blank so that's why zero keep it as zero move right side one keep it as one move right side whenever you find blank keep it as blank and move left means here we are moving left okay so we are moving left now we are going to q2 condition q2 state on q2 state what we are doing here if you found one if you find it as one we have to convert this into blank and move left side means we have made one one as blank equivalent one has been found here we have to convert it into blank that's why if you find one we convert it into blank and move left side again move till the left end again move till the left end thus that condition has been given in q3 state even if you found one even if you found zero keep it as one keep it as zero and move left whenever you found blank we are going again to q naught state this process is repeated similar examples we have done so many in our previous classes that's why 
it's uh, please follow our previous classes uh, so whenever you see blank uh, we will come to the q naught state we will come to the q naught state again repeat uh, if you find one convert it into blank move right side go here again if you we convert this second one into blank again go to q naught state q naught uh, whenever you move right side q naught on now we are in zero if you found one we have to convert into blank so if you found zero the second logic is uh, zero means it may be less than or it may be equal to whenever you found zero convert it into blank and move right side on q5 next you may found ones or blanks stop it if you found blank stop it if you find one move convert them into blanks convert them into blanks because uh, m less than means uh, all zero we have to place zero on the tape zero means all blanks we are converting all of them into blanks this is a less than or equal to condition so well, let's take the conditions of uh, m greater than n again convert blank convert blank convert blank convert blank we come again back means we are in q naught state we are in q naught state see we are in q naught state after converting two ones on the left hand side we come after converting two ones on the right hand side we come back but we had seen one here on the left hand side we move move to the q1 state and move till the end whenever you found blank we'll go to q2 state here if we are moving to left on left we are seeing zero zero means right hand side one extra one has been found left hand side that equivalent one has not been found so left hand side we have seen one extra one on right hand side we have not seen means m greater than n whenever m greater than zero is converted into one why we have converted this zero into one let's see converted blank blank these two also blanks we are converting this one as blank and moving to this side so see here 5 minus 2 what's the output should be there 3 1 should be there this one this one we are converting this 0 into 1 finally how many remain 3 ones has been remained so that is how we will convert this as 0 into blank 0 into 1 if m greater than condition see here this extra third one has been converted into blank that's why that's why we are converting this zero we are using this zero to convert it into one so three ones remain this is this is the logic for the construction of subtraction proper subtraction using turing machine hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you